it's the tea of the week, the tea of the week, the tea of the week, the tea of the week. So now it's time for the tea of the week, and I'm wearing all gray right now, even my pants, because today it is Earl Grey tea. Because I heard that it's like staple in Britain, so yeah. Kind of smells fruity, which I don't know if I like fruity, because I did like last week's. Seriously, I really, really like it, and I'm going to buy some more if this doesn't taste good. So, yep. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to smell, like, citrusy, but maybe I'll like it. I don't know. It's like, I like orange juice, so this should go well. So, yep, here it goes. I like it. I really do. I don't know. It tastes good. I like the bring breakfast tea better, but it still tastes yummy. I'll drink the rest of it. I don't know. I'll have it this week, because obviously I have some for it, but yep, that's about it. It tastes okay. I like tea, so I'm happy with it. So, yep. In other news, yeah, this weekend didn't turn out exactly how I thought it was going to be. I don't know, because it's like Friday, we were going to have a family dinner and like watch movies and stuff, but kind of we just did our own thing, and it kind of made me sad, because I didn't go to the football game, which sounded like it did pretty well. Hopefully, I can go to the one on Saturday, because Friday, we don't have school. So awesome. Yeah, so then Saturday, I had to go to work, which... I actually say I had to because I, I usually I like to but I just didn't want to go um we got to go shopping in the morning so you were there with us obviously but um yeah I saw all the stuff at Dollar Tree that I'm gonna save my money to buy for Christmas because I'm so excited for Christmas um yes I know it's before Thanksgiving but I refuse to listen to Christmas music before then so yeah that's kind of my cut off thing but I just like last year I didn't wait I waited until the last minute to start doing Christmas stuff, and then it, like, it was over by the time. So, yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna go start going Christmas caroling or anything before Thanksgiving, but I'm still not gonna be like, oh, no, taboo Christmas stuff. So, yeah, um, we went shopping, and I got that head and scarf, which I really like, and I'm, I'm just really happy with it, and hopefully I can find a white jacket, because then it would just work perfectly, and so then I had to go to work, and we were actually, like, ten minutes late to work, which wasn't that bad for seeing how we got home at, like, 2.45, and we should have left by 2.30, so, yeah. Um, plus we had to stop and get something for Sophie, and it was just like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a mess. So yeah, we came in ten minutes late, and Sue kind of just went all psycho. She was really mad at Matt, because he wasn't learning like he should have, and he made, uh, Locke very ticked off, only she kept on saying the bad version of that a lot, and she's like, so Locke's mad, so, no, I'm mad, and it's just like, yeah, Sue, we can kind of see that, and then we kind of screw up, great. Um, so she was kind of mad for the rest of up the night, and it's like, Sophie messed up once, and I messed up, like, five times in the back. Thank goodness Locke was there, and he wasn't mad at me, uh, me, because I don't think he was knowing that we were late, so, yeah, he saved my butt a couple of times, so thank goodness, but, um, yeah, I don't know, it's, work became work that day. Like, it used to be, like, Sue was all nice and kind, and, like, we had fun, but no, it started to become work was a drag. I had to get there, what, 15 minutes early from now on, because... Well, Sophie had to. So now, because she's like, oh, you have to do all your side jobs, it's like, Sophie does more side jobs than anybody at that work, and now it's just like, yeah, great, we have to come in 15 minutes early. So, it takes about an hour to drive there and back, plus the two hours I sit there to do nothing while Sophie gets to work and I don't, plus another 15 minutes. So, three and a half, or uh, three hours and 15 minutes, I'm just not getting paid for, and I only work four. So, I'm pretty much getting paid three fifty an hour for how much work I'm putting into this. That's ridiculous. I can clean the car and fa well, faster than that and get three bucks. That's kind of weird. But, yeah, still, so, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to look for another job. I like the job and stuff, but it's very demanding, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, crap, my job's terrible. No. It's just, Sue expects so much from us, and I don't know what to do anymore, and it's like, None of the other people that work there, I guess Bobby sort of, but she always complains about how lazy everybody else is. And then Locke's like, I really wish you were here this morning because we needed you. And I'm like, there were a couple of people here. Why would you need me? And they're like, you're better than them. And I'm like, thanks, Locke. And it's just like, I know I'm a hard worker, and I know Sophie works so hard. And it just gets me really down when I see that Sophie gets upset because Sue is just going all psycho crazy. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be saying all this, but still, it's just, ah. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to work there, and if I can't get Christmas and New Year's off, because of course they have to be on the weekends this year, I'm going to quit, because I, it might be one of my last Christmases here if I can't fly back for Christmas from, like, 
wherever I am in the country, and that would just really suck, so that this needs to be, like, my Christmas, so, yeah, anyway, work wasn't that hard, it, it, it was super busy, though, and it was like, we had six different things piled up back there, and there was not enough space on the counter to do six different orders at one time, yeah, it got really stressful, but it wasn't too bad, like, Saturday time flew, then we got to Sunday. So I went to church at 9 in the morning, and which was actually kind of, let me think about it, 10? Because of we sprang, we fell back, so we got an extra hour of sleep, which I don't think I actually slept for that hour. I was actually doing something, so yeah, because I'm doing that sleep pattern thing. No, not really, I don't know. Weekends, I don't. During the school week, yeah, I do. Anyway, um, so we went to church, and it was weird because it was just Sophie and me, and we kind of sat in the front, and now the front of the church, it, like, swoops, makes, like, a half circle thing, so, yeah, it was weird because it's, like, I actually get to face the altar. That doesn't happen very often. Anyway, um, afterwards, we went home and ate something for breakfast slash lunch because the rest of the family is gone, so we kind of just fend for ourselves because Lydia had her last basketball game. Anyway, um... Yeah, and then after that, we went and tried to get to work early enough for Sue to be happy, and had to pick up something on the way, and still we got there like 10 minutes before the 15 minutes we had to get there early, so it's like I spent so much time just worrying about work, it's just ugh! So we had to get in, and Matt, Emily, Jocelyn, Bobby, Locke, and Sue are all there. Six people working. Yeah, so, and it's like, why are we, why are we even there? So there were eight workers. And, like, three customers. Just made me angry. Um, so, yeah, yesterday, work just went by so freaking slowly. It was like, I looked at the clock, and it was like, 7.30 only? Really? An hour until we eat, and then an hour and a half until we get to go home? That really stinks. And it was weird, because of daylight savings time, or being off it, or whatever, it started to get dark earlier, and Sophie and I were like, why is it getting so dark? Is it supposed to rain? And then I realized, like, five minutes later, oh, we're on daily saving time, so instead of four o'clock, it's five o'clock. Yeah, or we're off it, whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, work was just really long, and I don't know, but we talked to Lock and Sue about trying to decorate the restaurant, which would be really fun, like, for Christmas, but Sue was like, we can't play Christmas music because there's this one customer that comes in very often, she's like, turn that off. I don't want to listen to that. It's like, it's a free country, we're going to be playing whatever we want, it's not like it's swearing, we're just playing instrumental Christmas music, and it's just, oh, it angers me when some people are like that, because it's like, um, we don't go into a shop and say, take down the menorah, or whatever they put up for Ramadana Kwanzmas, or whatever, so, yeah, I don't know, it's just, hopefully we can still decorate, obviously it's going to be coming out of Sophie My Wallet, but it'll still be, it'll make it a little happier if we have to work up till Christmas or something. So, yep, that was about my weekend. There wasn't really much other than work that I did. Um, last night I tried to study for math because I thought the physics test was today, but it wasn't. It's tomorrow, which, thank goodness. And then at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning I realized, oh, crap, I forgot to study for a Chinese writing test. So I got up not very early today to try to study that, so... But I didn't make it... I made it to school on time, so that's good. Um, so I think I aced it, which is pretty cool because... Visual, learning, Chinese, good for me. Yep, so that's about it that's happened in the last couple of days. Other than, this is the main thing that this is going to be about. Sunday when Matt was there and Jocelyn and Emily, they were all doing silverware while I was sitting there typing. And got to talk to Matt a little bit, and it's just like, oh, guys have dumb guy brains. Why do they have to do that? And it makes me angry, and it's like, yeah, he's two years younger, one year younger, two grades younger. And it's just like, there really is a maturity difference in people. There is a fuzz. Yeah, maturity difference, there's a fuzz. Yeah, I'm very mature. Um, but still, there is that difference. And then Sue is getting so angry at Matt because he still doesn't know the numbers for the tables and he's been there for three weeks. I knew it in less than, like, an hour. It's, well, it might be because it's math, but still. It's numbers, not math. Whatever. But it's still, it just makes me kind of like, just, is he really that not smart? Can he not just go home this table is 21, this table is 22, they go in order, it's not even that big of a deal, yeah, so yeah, Sue's like, I'm giving you one more day, you better know this, and yeah, he better, but it's just like, I don't know, I don't really like him anymore, which is really depressing, but it's, it might sound like I'm snotty, but I would like somebody that's up to my intellectual level, not some boy brains, it just angers me, 
So yeah, it's kind of a little depressor, because it's like, now what do I do? I thought I liked this dude, and now I don't, and it's just like, you're gonna have a boyfriend, and I don't even know anymore. So yeah. Sorry. A little bit of a rant fest. So yeah, this was one shot. Goodbye.